What are the real messianic passages according to the Jews, according to Israel? I will give you the full list. I will put it in the description box as well as the comment section. Let us begin. I hope you'll take notes. We're going to begin with Isaiah chapter 11 from the very first verse. But a shoot shall grow out of the stump of Jesse. A twig shall sprout from his stalk. The spirit of Yehovah shall be upon him. Spirit of wisdom and insight. Spirit of counsel and valor. A spirit of devotion and fear for Yehovah. And he shall be filled with the fear of Yehovah. He shall not judge by what his eyes behold, nor decide by what his ears perceive. Thus he shall judge the poor with equity, decide with justice for the lowly of the land. He will strike down the land with the rod of his mouth and slay the wicked with the breath of his lips. Justice shall be the girdle of his loins and faithfulness the girdle of his waist. The wolf shall dwell with the lamb. The leopard shall lie down with the kid. The calf and the beast of prey and the fatling together with the little boy to lead them all. The cow and the bear shall graze with their young. They shall lie down together, and the lion will eat straw like the bull, and a little baby shall play over the viper's hole, and an infant shall pass his hand over the adder's den. In all of my sacred mountain, nothing evil or vile shall be done. For the land shall be filled with the knowledge of Yehoah as the waters covers the sea. You see a description of a transformed earth. I will also leave in the comments section, brothers and sisters, a full presentation of the full messianic age, what will happen, the full presentation. So please click, click on that link so you can hear the whole thing. But here's just the passages about this one to come from the line of David. Let's continue. Jeremiah chapter 23, verses 5 through 6. Behold, the days are coming, says Yehoah, when I will raise to David a righteous branch, and he will reign as king and act wisely and shall execute justice and righteousness in the land. In his days, listen carefully, in his days, Judah shall be safe and Israel shall live in security. And this is the name whereby he shall be called. Yehoah is our righteousness. Jeremiah chapter 33 verses 15 through 16. In those days and at that time I will cause a branch from righteousness to grow from David. He shall execute justice and righteousness in the land. In those days, Judah shall be safe and Jerusalem shall live in safety. Ezekiel chapter 34, verses 23 through 24. And I will set up one shepherd over them. He shall feed them. My servant David, he shall feed them. He shall be their shepherd. And I, Yehovah, will be their God. And my servant David, a prince among them, I, Yehoah, have spoken. Ezekiel chapter 37, verses 24 to the very end. My servant David will be a king over them. They will all have one shepherd. They will follow my laws and be careful to keep my decrees. They will live in the land that I give to my servant Jacob, the land where your ancestors lived. They and their children and their children's children will live there forever. And David, my servant, will be a prince forever. I will make a covenant of peace with them. It will be an everlasting covenant. I will establish them and increase their numbers. I will put my sanctuary, that means a temple, among them forever. My dwelling place will be with them. I will be their God and they will be my people. And then the nations will know that I, Yehoah, do make Israel holy when my temple is among them forevermore. Hosea chapter 3, verses 4 through 5, for those who actually say, well, your Messiah has not come in 2,000 years, you have a broken temple, there's no sacrifices, on and on. Here are the passages that will help with this to understand. For the Israelites will live many days, a long time, without king or prince, without sacrifice, without sacred stones, without ephod, household items, Afterward, the Israelites will return and seek Yehovah their God and David their king. They will come trembling to Yehovah and to his blessings in the last days. Ezekiel chapter 45, verse 17 and verse 22 actually describe the Mashiach, the Messiah, this Davidic king, in that time or during that time. Listen carefully. It will be the duty of the prince, who is the Mashiach, 
to provide the burnt offerings, grain offerings, and drink offerings at the festivals, the new moons and the Sabbaths. At all the appointed festivals of Israel, he will provide the sin offerings, grain offerings, burnt offerings, and fellowship offerings to make atonement for the Israelites. On that day, in verse 22, on that day, the prince shall provide for himself, for himself and all the people of the land, a bull for an offering. So these are just a handful. I'm going to leave the full list of the passages that are speaking specifically about this person from the line of David who will sit on the throne during that time.